What's up, everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast, brought to you by TVCaptive.com for Supernatural Season 9, Episode 17, Mother's Little Helper. Uh, this week, Demon Nuns. Kind of creepy. Uh, Sam works another Men in Letters case. Dean turns to drink because of the mark of Cain. And Crowley thinks Dean is ready. But ready for what? And Misha Collins makes his uh, directorial debut. But first, I'm your host, Dom. With me, I have my co-host, Mike. Hi. How's it going? Misha Collins directing an episode. Yeah. It's interesting. It was. So, uh, also, what did you think of Dean, this episode? Dean turning to drink. He's taking the easy way out, the little shit. Yeah, right? Dean's mm. always been an alcoholic. Kinda. He always has enjoyed the booze. Nothing new. No, nothing new, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what would you think of uh, Misha's work as a director? Uh, it was a good episode. It was. So, it went well. I thought it was, I thought it was very well done. There was uh, quite a lot of shots and stuff that uh, were interesting. Just like, uh, you get those creepy shots of somebody watching you and like peeking through cracks and stuff like that. And left it very uh, ambiguous, open to. Uh, yeah, it kind of did. I, yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I, it, it was just good. Well done. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, so apparently he was uh, spamming Twitter last night. Oh yeah, constantly like a bastard. Yeah, over and over and over and over again. Well, I. I during the whole episode, yeah, there's just a tweet every, like, two or three minutes. Omi unfollowed him for, you know, briefly. <laughs> it's like, I can't I can't take this. Uh, kind of didn't blame her. Well, there's some cool things that he was tweeting out that you wouldn't get otherwise uh, of things that no, happened on true. set. Like, um, he said, we secretly switched Jensen's prop beer with Folger's crystals. Let's see if he notices. <laughs> like, can you imagine the... Th- <laughs> they're on set and he goes to take a drink and it's Folger's crystals like how oh my god how funny would that be it'd be kind of hilarious if he just took a drink of it it was like I would love to see the outtake just like <laughs> yeah and uh he tweeted out a disclaimer disclaimer uh this does not represent Warner Brothers uh view of all nuns Hyphen, hyphen, only their view of small fringe minority of demon nuns. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, apparently they got, uh, all of Twitter got together and got the hashtag, I'm a director, you ass, trending worldwide. Nice. I'm a director, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like something Misha would say. I'm a director, you ass. It kinda does sound like that. Yeah, just like his uh, his Twitter uh, description: actor, baker, candlestick maker. <laughs> <laughs> actor can't act, actor, baker, candlestick maker. Yeah, he's the best. I love I love me some Misha. Um, so yeah, during this episode, we got we got back to a main storyline episode. It, well, I don't know, was it a main story? It seemed main storyline ish. It wasn't so much side tangent. It was directly related to Abaddon. Um, but it kind of was off on its side tangent. But I think uh, I think it propelled uh, the better part of the plot. So I'm I'm glad that he got to direct um, an episode like that as opposed to just a complete um, what uh, side tangent episodes. How do how do we call what do we call those? I don't remember what what our term filler was filler episodes. Filler. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Misha I think would be really good at filming filler episodes, but. I'm glad for his directorial debut anyway. He got to do a main storyline episode. I think it worked very well. It did work well, yeah. Um, so, apparently the, the tables are now turned. Uh, Sam is worried that Dean's pulling away. Uh, but is Dean just distancing himself because he doesn't want to be around Sam or because he's afraid? I think he's afraid of what he felt when he used the uh, first blade on... Um... Who's gonna watch it? When he used it to Magnus. cut off Magnus's head, yeah. Yeah. I, I, the feeling he felt while he was holding it, I think he enjoyed it, and I think that scares him. Yeah, as Crowley put it, uh, being a junkie. It's like being a junkie. Yeah, exactly. So, 
<laughs> yeah, and uh, apparently Crowley's back to his old ways. He's embracing the junkie within. Yeah, he's. Or he said, I, I, yeah, "I've learned, I learned to embrace it." I think he said. Yeah, or did he? I, th- that whole scene. Um, it seemed like we don't really know if that's what Crowley was doing or not, because he did say, um, to the the other demon that was there, or whatever. It seemed like a test for Dean. But mm-hmm. um, what do you think he was testing Dean on? Whether ooh, I don't know Is whether he, he could like could he take you know I guess testing him to see if his head was in it like if he'd be able to use the mark and the blade to go through what needs to be done could be could be um, yeah I was figuring is either um, see if he's ready to wield the blade. Mm-hmm. Or what if he's trying to recruit him to be a knight of hell? Oh, like uh, make Dean the first new knight of hell under Crowley's control. Oh God, that would fall. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That'd be interesting. That's what I gotta say to that. There's yeah. uh, see, I'm I, I'm sitting here thinking because uh, it's so late in this series. We're at season nine. We know a season ten is coming. Mm-hmm. They, they've officially been renewed for season 10. Um, but as far as I'm aware, season 10 is not being billed as the final season. Um, it may be a little too soon to announce that. Right. But um, when they don't bill a season as its final season going into it, that, that to me seems like another season is coming. Yeah, usually they'll tell you when the season starts, this is the final season. Right. Like they did that they do that for they've done that for Dexter on Showtime. You know, mm-hmm. they said the final season of Dexter. Uh they're doing that for True Blood this year. They said this is gonna be the final season of that. Right. Um they do that for a lot of shows. So I mean we won't know for sure until they're about to start up. But to me it seems like season ten. I mean we're still we still got what six episodes left of uh this season? Yes. Five, five episodes, five, six. Five, like I that. think. Yeah, I think it goes to twenty-two, like most of the CW shows. Okay, so yeah, so we got five episodes left. Um, so we won't know for sure until the next season is about to start airing. But um, I, I start getting into these like, how much further can they go with the show? Like, what direction can they go? Um, we've seen mm. Sam and Dean in pretty much every possible situation that they could be in. Right. More or less. There's 23 episodes. We got six left. Okay. Um, like we've we've seen them fighting. We've seen them best friends. We've seen them in relationships. We've seen everything out of Sam and Dean. We've seen uh, Sam being uh, soulless. You know, mm. like all this stuff. But where can it go from there? Are they going to turn one of them into an angel? One of them into a demon? Like that. That's pretty much the only dynamic we haven't seen yet. Is making one. Of them a supernatural entity. Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, we even have seen that. Uh, True. Was it Sam or Dean? I don't remember now. The, Sam and his psychic powers. No, no. Drinking the demon blood. He was a vampire very briefly. Oh, Dean was a vampire very yeah. briefly. He was like a pre vampire. Yeah. So. Before they got their hands on the cure. Mm hmm. Which was the thing. It was. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you, do you foresee an angel or demon out of one of them within the next coming season? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think so. I want to say no, but I can't be sure what they're going to do. Because like you said, we've seen every dynamic out of the two of them. Mm-hmm. So, who the hell knows? What I would like to see this season, uh, for them to wrap it up, a great finale, I think, would be something along the lines of Sam trading... Uh, his soul or whatever, like do the soul thing again, but um, trade it off to uh, try to save Dean, and it doesn't work, and Dean kills Sam because of the mark of Cain, hmm. and uh, Sam turns into comes back as a demon. Interesting, I'd like to see that. huh? Well, never know. I mean, the uh, I'm I'm looking here. Because I see six episodes left. They all have names. The final episode is named Do You Believe in Miracles? Ooh. Mm. Excellent. So, um, I don't know. Yes, yeah, mm. so 
back from our rampant speculation. Um, so we get a, a very Abaddon back central story uh, this episode. And um, we find out that, that Abaddon has her nun henchmen stealing souls uh, to raise a, a new army in hell. Um, so did uh, Agnes just sit around for 60 years doing nothing while Abaddon was missing? Like, this is the first we've heard of it, and the town just started going crazy again? Like, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Seems a little weird. Do you think maybe she was in another area and just recently came back? Or was she sitting in this abandoned church? Because if she was still there, right, and she was still doing the whole church thing or whatever, um, I don't think the church would have closed. Right, exactly. So she must have chilled out in that town. And as she said, you know, she probably never told anybody because as she said, you know, I mentioned demons and everybody looks at me like I'm nutty. Hmm. So... That. Yeah, no, no, uh, uh, Agnes was, um, was, wasn't she the, the nun? She was a nun, yeah. Yeah. No, no, not the, not the one that Sam was talking to. Oh, yeah, Agnes was a nun, was the nun. Yeah, so I'm saying her, what was she doing sitting around? Because, like, these people just started going crazy out of nowhere, right, when the, the souls were being taken. Mm-hmm. Like... Don't you think the whole town would have been soulless at this point? Like, if she's been working the past 60 years with, with Abaddon missing? Or did she only just start up again because Abaddon came back? I think she only started up again because Abaddon came back. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, gonna go with that. So, um, what did you think of your, your cat Josie? Um, oh my god. When, <laughs> when uh, she was Abaddon pre-Abaddon meat suit. She was interesting, I think. Um, yeah, she seemed like, I mean, you know, men in letters, like a woman among the men in letters, and it seems a little weird. But yeah. um, she was a good character, I think, in love with Henry Winchester, even though he was married. So that was, there was depth to the character, more so than you would have expected for, you know, a pre-meat suit meat was, suit. Was Henry married? Yeah, he had a wife and kids. Because he mentioned, he's like, what about John? What about whatever his wife's name was? Like, what will they do if anything ever happened? No, that wasn't... Henry wasn't John's father. It was... Yeah, his name's Henry Winchester. Yeah, but it's not John's father. It's John's father's father. Oh, he... Okay, well, he mentions the name John. He says it outright. I right. know was he it? said it. I'm trying to think now. Because their grandfather... Yeah, because the other grandfather, that was their mom's dad. Oh, okay. So this is... Yeah, this so this is... is awesome. You're right. You're yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, because you had me for a second. I'm yeah, I was, like, cause I was like, didn't we see their other grandfather? And hunting alphas? And that was... Seems like it was forever ago. It was probably like two seasons ago. Mm. <laughs> but, um, I'm speaking of cats. Hi, Jasper. It was forever ago. It was like season six when they killed Jasper came to say hi. Hi, Jaspy cat that gives no shits just yes no because you, your cat's name is, is Josie yes I know my so, cat's name is Josie well I'm explaining for the viewers that, yes, that, I, that is why I said your cat was, was in this episode so because <sighs> Josie was Abaddon's meat suit's name before it was a meat suit um, my cat's a meat suit great your cat is now playing a meat suit great so basically what I'm trying to say is your cat is Abaddon Great! No wonder she keeps us awake all goddamn night. Running rampant through the house, like galloping gazelle. Mm. Three in the morning, right? That's how that works. Pretty much. <laughs> um, so do you think we're going to see her uh, after Abaddon is killed? I don't know. I think once Abaddon's killed, the it's going to consume her completely. Or if they behead her the way they beheaded Magnus, I don't think the meat suit's going to be intact anymore. There's that, too. But I think that meat suit's been so fucked up over the years. Because remember, when they encountered Abaddon the first time, didn't they, like, cut her into pieces and seal her away? They at least cut her head off. Yeah, they cut her head off. I know that. So I, I think the meat suit, the body's dead already at this mm. point. After how long? Probably. 
I mean, mm -hmm. it looks it looks like it's been doing well since it was stitched back up. But as we know, um, demons when when they're in the meat suits and they uh, get shot or whatever, they heal. But then when they leave, the meat suit is still dead. So mm -hmm. I would assume I would assume the same is going to happen for for your cat Josie. Mm, Probably. Hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um Dean meets the that hunter, so to speak. Like we were, we were just talking about. He goes um he want it looks like he's going to go kill Crowley. Uh mm -hmm. Dean kind of talks some sense into him. And uh then it's later revealed that 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 demon or that uh hunter is actually a demon working for Crowley. Um Do you think Crowley was really um Injecting human blood at that point, or do you think that was just something he said to uh, Dean to throw him off the the scent that he was testing him? Because we we never saw him actually. You, shoot you're up blood. right. It could be either or. Um, you know what? I can't make a call on that one because I don't know. He could have really been legitimately shooting up blood, or he could have just been playing Dean. I mean. Hell, I don't know. It could have gone either way. I'm gonna go with me. You know what? That's a nice idea. He was probably just playing Dean using, yeah, you know, yeah just to throw him off the scent, as you put it. Yeah, typical, typical Crowley. So, yeah, I mean, it was really good episode. It's kind of short, um, in in terms of new information, stuff to talk and speculate about. Um, I, I really don't think there's there's too much more to cover there, but. Just when, when I think we've seen all that we could see about the Men in Letters, we're still getting flashbacks of them, which I'm very, very thankful for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's a big organization. You know, I'd love to see more about them. We, Info, please. We found the Men in Letters, what, last season? Or was it this season? I don't even remember anymore. Last season. Yeah. And we've barely gotten any information. Yes, last season. Yeah, and we, exactly. We just got little bits and pieces here. Yeah, we yeah, because... Uh, we got the flashback with Abaddon and all that. That's how Abaddon came through in the first place. And yeah, so it was last season. But um, like we met Henry, right? We had that whole thing. Then we had just had the the flashback last week. Mm -hmm. Then this week we we've had or not the flashback. We had Mad Magnus, the last one alive last week. Then we had the flashback this week. So just when I think. They've killed off all the uh, the men in letters. We can't do anything more with them. We see them again. I am still very adamant that instead of um, supernatural tribes, which has now been renamed to bloodlines, um, I much rather would have seen a men in letters uh, spinoff. I agree. I would have rather. Yeah. But regardless of what the new thing is, I would have loved to see a men in letters. Blah, 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 blah. Men in letters spinoff. Period. Yeah, just, I don't know, like, I'm not saying I'm going to be disappointed by it at all, because it, it seems interesting enough um, that we get to see a lot more of what's going through the heads of uh, these supernatural creatures. Um, but some of the other spinoffs that they were talking about just seemed like they would would have been a little bit better, more interesting, like the the Old West, see the, the history of the cult, like that spinoff they had talked about for a while. The Ghost Facers one that, that was floating around, not so much, it would have been... They did a web series. It didn't really pan out, so I don't think a spinoff would have been that good. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, but uh, a Men in Letters, I think, would have been the ultimate spinoff. Yes. But, uh, there's nothing more I could say that I was going to add to it, but then, you know, it would have been the ultimate spinoff. Yeah, done, period. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yes, it would have been. <laughs> in three episodes from now, we will see the backdoor pilot um, for the new spinoff called bloodlines which will air next year we don't know when it's going to air exactly um if it's going to be um airing the same time as supernatural we don't know if it's going to be airing during the breaks of supernatural um yeah we're just not we don't know if it's airing the same night we don't know anything about it um all so. i know all we know is we're getting a backdoor pilot the way we got the pilot for originals from vampire diaries yes exactly um so look for that. That'll be Bloodlines episode 20. But um, I would say next week, but that's not the case. We don't get another Supernatural episode until April 15th. Uh, the episode is called Metafiction. 
Metafiction. Guess who's it, guess who's guest starring in that episode, kids? Metatron. No. Dun dun dun. Um so uh we don't have an official synopsis, but um haven't had one for many times. Yeah, but uh just based on the promo video, uh Metatron is still trying to play God. Uh mm-hmm. the boys in Castiel go looking for Gadriel uh to capture him. But it appears Castiel has captured himself. Uh us. Dun dun dun. The- um I know recently Misha has put a statement out that he wants Cast more involved uh for season ten. Um he he put out that statement, but he also doesn't even know if he's going to be in season ten. Right. Because production, he says production has not approached him about season ten yet, and he doesn't even know what the end of this season holds for his character. Because apparently it's not fully finished. So. Yeah, he doesn't know, but he says he'd like to be in season ten and he'd like to play a bigger role. Yep. So. I love him. He's awesome. Yes. He is. Yeah, I'm just skimming through. There's no synopsis anywhere for. Negatory. So. Yep. Uh. Three weeks it airs, and that's a straight shot to the end of the season. No more breaks. Yes, excellent. But um, can't yeah. find anything. Think that about does it. So, uh, Mike, where can the people find you? Right there on Twitter at Thilladren, T H I L L A D R E N. Hmm. You can find me down below at Phenomenom, P H E N O M E D O M. Uh, you can find us both on TVCaptive.com. Uh, as well as uh, ASO TV podcast on YouTube, Facebook, Gmail, G Plus, and the Twitter. That's see, that's what you know. That's down in that corner, right there, right there. It's a little logo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looks like static. It is static. Okay, it is static. So until April fifteenth. See you guys later. Three week break again. Dun, dun, dun. Mike not happy. Hey, at Mike's least, at least so we got some stuff to tide us over in the meantime. We got uh, uh, Shields coming back and Captain America a few days later. So Captain America. Mm-hmm. Yay. Yeah. So happy. <laughs>